Now before we get started, let me share a nice opportunity with you all. And let me ask you this, are you interested in cyber security? Are you someone who loves ethical hacking or someone who can reverse the encryption and break the code? Or are you someone who just wants to get started into, you know, ethical hacking and want to get new skills and get some hands-on experience? For that, you can check out the biggest virtual hackathon of 2022, which is being run by RISE, which is an online education campus. It's called Get Set Hack. So it's by RISE, um, powered by Thrive DX. And uh, the, the idea over here is that, uh, you know, using cryptography, the theme is that you will save the world to spread awareness about cybersecurity. And in this hackathon, Thrive DX is, uh, you know, creating a platform where students can, uh, you know, students or participants are basically going to learn, be taught and get to know about the cybersecurity and, uh, and crypto cryptography. So meaning you don't need to worry about the uh, skill set in order to, you know, crack the hackathon, if you will, more like a catch the flag challenge you know that the ctf challenges that happen so the timeline looks something like this you can see the in the introduction and everything um you will be over here you can see the agenda so uh, on the day one there will be a recorded webinar and a screening test on a day two there will be a webinar on you know 1.5 hours long webinar on an introduction to cyber security and web application pen uh, pen penetration on day three you will be provided a platform you know uh, for self-study so obviously i mentioned like the self-study is key for any event you take part in or even when you're learning on your own so self-study is pretty crucial so i think that's pretty amazing that they have uh, listed that over here as a day three so you'll learn about like encryption decryption hashing uh, you can see symmetric and asymmetric encryption and all sorts of things right public and private key steganography file signatures magic bytes using various tools like exif tool strings etc and on day four there will be a second webinar or around like 1.5 hours based on the classic ciphers and encoding so after this there will be like a final challenge where 1000 participants will have a chance to solve a mystery case where they will be where they will be basically cracking a series of binary files containing uh, a series of like ciphers and uh, you know participate uh, and find the uh, the identity and the locations of hackers from it so i think that's pretty cool and the students who will participate in the final channel which challenge will be chosen based on the time in which they crack the files and the number of identities and locations that are identified so sort of like you know like a ctf ctf thing going on so some nice prizes and great learning opportunity if you're a student from a technical background then i highly recommend you to uh, take part in it you can you know, register for the hackathon just click on the link given in the description box and you can fill the form and uh, you know right now as the registrations are uh, subject to close soon all the best to take part learn about it and share your journey whatever you're learning um, you know you can write a blog or whatever and um, yeah do check it out and uh, have fun Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to answer one of the most asked questions when students ask me Kunal, how do you learn a new topic, right? So the way I learn has changed a little bit because obviously when you're first starting to learn when you let's say don't know anything about programming, right? And then you keep learning when you're a professional and like you're learning about new tools that are coming out and stuff and you've developed that efficiency to learn because as a developer, you know, you will always be learning. Learning is inevitable because new, new, new tools keep coming out. You have to stay up to date with all the technologies and stuff. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I approach learning. So let's get started. Most of you who are like students who are watching, first thing you know that goes into learning is picking a topic. So you pick a topic. Let's say for example, web development. Okay. So I research about it. I research about okay, this is web development. This is what people are doing. I just you know Google about it, just playing around with it, just having fun and just exploring. I think that's the right word. Right. So when we talk about learning about a particular topic, most folks think about roadmaps. OK, like I need a roadmap. And the same way when learning about a new technology, like I have no idea about not tools, but an entirely new domain. OK, machine learning, for example. OK, I want to learn about machine learning. OK, so finding the roadmap. There are a few resources that I recommend to find roadmap. The number one is the documentations, right? Online blogs and articles things like that content basically um, the second one is communities you can get involved in the particular community over there folks oftentimes have shared about their own experiences how they got started in that particular tech so i think that's a very good way because there you have proof of work and the third one is youtube so if on youtube if i'm checking 
um, web development roadmap. So the 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 negative thing about YouTube is that it's very easy to create roadmap videos. If you have not done anything, if you have not done anything with web development, you can just Google web development roadmap. It will give you a list and you can read that list and you can make a video on it. No one knows whether you have done web development or not. You are just copy pasting what is already available online. So whenever I check a YouTube video of a particular person, I go check their projects. I check their GitHub. I check their LinkedIn, what they themselves have done in that field. So that that way I know that, okay, this roadmap is legit. So that's one of the ways to find roadmap. Okay. So now you have found the roadmap. You know what all things you need to learn. The roadmap is never perfect. Okay. Many, many places would have different, different roadmaps. So don't try to find the perfect roadmap. Don't try to find like the perfect resources when it comes to development. Uh, just try to, you know, find something that to get started with. Now we have the roadmap. Now we talk about learning. So you learn individual pieces in the, in the roadmap stuff. I personally love learning from documentation. I don't learn from YouTube videos. I love learning from blogs, articles, and uh, learning while doing, which I'll show, share more about later. But you can learn from videos as well, whatever you want. So what I recommend to do is, individual pieces let's say if i'm talking about machine learning you want to learn about numpy pandas matplotlib python then uh, you want to learn about uh, you know you want to learn about uh, linear regression logistic regression you know svm naive based stuff etc like that okay uh, natural language processing and then computer vision and all these other things so you will not find like a dedicated roadmap for this for free online and that way what i recommend you to do is individual topics you can learn from different resources that's some completely okay because you're getting the best of all the worlds. Um, and when you're watching someone's video, you check, you know, the comments, whether they are nice um, or whether they themselves have done what they are talking about, how detailed is the video or whatever, you know, just make sure that you're spending your time in the right place. Um, so that's, you know, about the individual topics. You have the roadmap, you Google individual topics. I love learning from documentation and blogs. So after that, you apply your knowledge somewhere. You can do that. In, you can apply in projects or you can contribute to open source videos I have made on this already. You can check out the roadmap uh, roadmap section that we have in community classroom. I'll leave the link in the description below. Apart from that, uh, I also watch tech talks. Okay, so tech talks on a particular topic or a new tool uh, happens in so many conferences. So I watch those on YouTube or attending those live sometimes. Last but not least, this is not mandatory, but it will definitely help you teaching. Teaching someone something enhances your own knowledge as well. Now, teaching does not always have to be like videos and stuff. Obviously, you can make videos, you can do workshops, you can speak at conferences, or you can start with blogging and stuff. Okay, so speaking of blogging, we have the Community Classroom blogging challenges running, so you can write a blog. And if you're watching it this month, so you can write a blog on your university experience, and you can win some nice, you know, a nice little keyboard over here. We have some tracks, and if you're watching it in the future, this would be updated, but yeah. We have some exciting prices. Here's how you can take part mentioned on the website. The link is comclassroom.org slash hash node. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. That's basically about it. That's how I learn. Uh, it's not a perfect roadmap. Like definitely you will find your own way, but uh, that's one of the you know great ways to get started with and what I definitely recommend. Um, the resources I leave in the description below. For your example, you want to get started with blogging. We have the community classroom blogging challenges. You can win some exciting prizes. You can write a blog and you can win exciting prizes. And uh, you want to uh, get started with data structures algorithms. You have some boot camps that we are running about DevOps and stuff. So make sure you check it out. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.